So, I don't know how this is going to be because I have to, like, minimize my camera on my computer to read the document on my computer. So, and I want this screen to be a little up because I'm only wearing a tank top and as, and if you saw my All About Me, I don't like showing um, this area of my body. And it's just too hot. It's like 28 degrees outside, so it's just too hot to wear a shirt. And nobody is home, so I'm not going to like wear a shirt for like 20 minutes and then put take it off again. So, yesterday, I think it was last night, or early, early this morning, I wrote a book called How I Write a Book. And basically, I just wrote down all the steps that I do and the order I do them, and then I wrote about how I became a writer and mentioned some of the things that I did. So I am going to probably do a video on the steps that I take to write a book. It's not, it's like pretty unique the way I write my books, but it works for me. But in this video, I'm just going to share what I wrote about how I became a writer and um, some of the things that I wrote in between the ages of 12 to 19. Um, some of it might be a little shocking and weird. So, before I start, I'm going to say this. I have always had an interest since I was about 15 of teen parenting. And I have a hobby, a habit of taking characters from different shows and putting them into my own series. Keep that in mind. Okay. Um, yeah. And I also wrote a paragraph on battles and struggles, but I am not going to share that part. Okay. And I'm also going to do a video. We'll see if I'm going to do the the video the book I wrote on me, because I've already done a video explaining me. Alright, so without more rambling on, because I do have to start writing soon, and it's 1.26. PM. Um, let's get into this. So, I don't know if you'll be able to see me, but I have, I'm reading off my Word document right now. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I opened the wrong document. Damn it. Hmm. Sorry about that. Um, just give me a quick second to find it. Um, I have like 434 items in this folder, so it might take a while. Oh, here it is. It's an A, so it's pretty easy to find. Okay, so... I am going to do the paragraph explaining me, um, just because... So, my name is Ashley Rhea Jennifer. I'm not going to reveal my last name. I was born on March 17, 1998. I grew up in a small Canadian town, which I am not going to name, until I was nine. At age nine, I moved seven hours away to a city that I am not going to name with my mother. However, at age 14 years and nine months, I moved back to my hometown to live with my grandparents. My mom moved back about five years later. Um, my maternal grandparents are Tries and James. My paternal grandparents are Renee and Suzanne. My mother is Julia, my father is Slay, and his wife is Nancy. My father had three more children after me, which I mentioned in the All About Me video. Um, with a different woman, he had my brother, Anthony, who was born on September 21st, 2000. And with Nancy, he had my two sisters, Miguelie, who prefers to be called Maggie, on November 11th, 2006. And Rosalie, who we nicknamed Rosie, on December 17th, 2016. So basically, if you can keep up that, I am two years and six months older than my brother. I am eight, uh, eight years and eight months older than my sister, Michaeli. And I am about 18 years and nine, nine months older than Rosalie. Big age differences, I know. Um, my family is mostly French, but I have a good amount of English as well. The language I speak mostly is English, but I do know a good amount of French. Okay, so how I, my history of me being a writer. I was reading chapter books on my own by age five, but I wasn't ever much of a reader. I was six or seven when I started becoming interested in writing. I started making newspaper, news articles for my stuffed animals, since in my head they were a town with their own families and such. 
So I used to have, I had like over a thousand stuffed animals and I would divide them into families and the ones who didn't look alike would be orphans and then there'd be a school, different grades depending on the size of the stuffed animals. So like the biggest ones, if they weren't parents, they would be in like high school and then like the middle sized ones would be in like middle school and then the little ones would be like in kindergarten and like the really, really tiny ones would be in preschool. Um... These news articles weren't very good, um, and I only have two left in my souvenirs. And the reason they're not good is because, well, I was seven, I barely knew anything about writing, and I was a horrible speller, and my grammar was, oh my god, it was horrible. If you think the Good Luck Teddy and Charlie series that I post on YouTube was bad, you should see me as a kid. Um... I was around 12 when I started writing short stories as well as poems. I loved writing poems. Poems is one of my favorite things to write. I was around 12 when I, uh, sorry, I already wrote, I already wrote that. At 13, I learned how to properly write news articles as well as speeches, opinion paragraphs, summaries, etc. I learned at school and I taught myself. So both of those. At the age, at that age, I was also really into acting and I, um, okay, and I wrote several plays in my teen years. I wrote several plays in my teen years that I would show to my grandparents and parents and siblings and friends at school. I was 15 when I attempted to write my first novel. Over the next two years, every week, I would ditch the novel I was writing and start writing a new one. I never finished any of them. At almost 16, or shortly after turning 16, I started writing a Charmed fanfiction for the TV show. Charmed it pretty much just um, continued the story from where it left off using my version of what should happen. And if you want to read it, it's on fanfiction.net. My username is charmedforlife18. Where was I? I was able to stick with the charm, and by the time I was 19, which I am 19 right now, I had written about 13 or 14 novel-length books for the fanfiction series. When I was late 17, I started writing Every Witch Mom, and over the next two years, I have finished a few books for the series and plan many more to come. Okay, so Every Witch Mom, I took the teenage girls and their boyfriend from the show Every Witch Way and turned them into teen parents. And it was just because I was born, and it was just a video series using footage and pictures from the show. And then I decided to turn it into a book because I got lots of plots in my head, and I was just having so much fun. So that's how that came to be. And I do not post it anywhere, and I do not publish it because that is copyright. It is just for me. Um, at 19, I was mostly into writing Charmed and Every Witch Mom. And occasionally wrote poems, but I was no longer into acting, and I was out of school, so I didn't write any other type of writing, like news articles and plays. So... So here's when I, I'm going to share some of the things that I wrote. Um, I don't remember all of their names, and some I remembered the names. Anyway, uh, let's go. So I'm going to share the names and plots of some of the books and plays I wrote between the ages of 12 and 19. Uh, something's wrong here. Hold on. Okay, I was wondering when I explained about my play life, but it's later on. Um... Besides the, I'm going to share the ones I wrote, besides Tried and Every Witch Mom. The earliest one I remember was one I wrote when I was 12. It was about a young child who rescues kidnapped children from ancient Greece's Medusa. I don't remember what it was called. It had come from a dream of mine. One I wrote at 14 was about twins who were given powers of birth. I only wrote two chapters. I remember one of the names of the twins was Matilda. I wrote most of my failed books at this time in my life. Um, every time I do a video, I need to scratch my nose. Another I wrote uh, around this time was a Harry Potter fan fiction. There, there was about 11 girls in the same family who, who all had A names. So all their names started with A, and one by one were going to Hogwarts. This was a game I had played with my 11 dolls 
a few weeks earlier, yes, I admit, I played with dolls until I was 16 and my grandparents forced me to give them up. I, it was a rough adjustment, adjust, adjustment for me. Um, there was one book called A Boy's Search for His Missing Parents, which was about a young boy, I think he was 10, who escaped foster care to find his older and younger sisters. There was one called How I Met My Friends, which was about four fifth graders becoming friends. There was Meet the Andersons, which was a book about a strict, proper family. And I think for that one, I got the characters because I was like looking at pictures of my family and I just put a bunch of kids together and said, okay, I'm going to make these characters. I think that's what happened for this one. There was one called A Hundred Kids. This was about a dad who had a hundred kids. It had been a dream and it only lasted half a chapter. That was probably like my most failed book. There was one that I don't remember the name of. Um, hold on, I'm just going to make sure this is still filming. Okay. Where was I? There was one that I don't remember the name of. It was about this room and a house and a home that was passed down to the elders of each generation in the family. And no one could go inside until he or she turned 12. And the room was supposed to be have old pictures and stuff. It lasted four chapters and had the women who were right. So I'm going to explain this one a little bit. I don't remember what it was called. Basically, I was like, I went in Disney movies, like anime Disney movies. I like the scenes where you see the characters as little kids. So I basically went online and looked up, like, all the Disney characters that had flashbacks of when they were kids. So, like, from Tangled, um, Frozen, there was more. And then I turned them into characters. Um, but they were like, it was not related at all to the, the plots of their movie, so it, anyway. Um, and the room, I didn't know if I wanted it to be something dangerous or like something good. And then I went on, um, ask.com to ask for opinions. Someone told me it should be treasures and stuff. So, and I do have, I still have the search, a uh, boy search for his sisters, and I think I still have Meet the Andersons and the title page for How I Met My Friends. Uh, there were several more from this time, but I don't remember them. I wrote, oh my god, like over, probably over 50 books at that time in my life, and I never finished them. When I started writing at 18 was called Teens and Babies, so remember I take characters from different shows, blah blah, and I like teen parents. I don't want to be a teen parent. Anyway, it was about teenagers from real shows becoming teen parents. Most were not teen parents in the shows they were from. So there was like, I have them all in my binder right now. There was like Teddy and, P and PJ and Gabe from like Good Luck Charlie. And then there was like um, Amy and Ashley and Adrian from The Secret Life of the American Teenager who actually do have kids in, in the show. Uh, not Ashley, Ashley doesn't, but her sister and um, Adrian do. And then there was like all pretty much all the shows on Nickelodeon and Disney. Um, I wrote two books for that series, and at 19, planned on continuing, had written all the chapter ideas for the rest of the books. There was about 19 books, but um, I just decided to focus on my charms and um, every witch mom, and take a break from the teens and babies. I was also a little embarrassed about writing that one. All right, so my play life, and that'll be the end of our video. So this is my life doing plays. As a preteen, so ages 11 and 12, I often did Harry Potter plays for my grandparents. I had such a good memory and love for the movies. I remembered almost every scene and line in the order they played. No one liked watching Harry Potter movies with me, and I still don't because I will literally say all their lines before they say it because I just memorized all the lines and I know the order of the scenes. Probably not as good anymore, since it has been a while since I've watched the series. Um, at 15, I did a play about an orphan whose dog is taken by the pound, and she keeps trying to save him. It was not written, I just winged it, and it was horrible. The first play I actually wrote was called Total Opposites. It was about identical twin girls who were separated at birth, one raised by mom, the other by dad. And in high school, they meet when one runs into the other, breaking her phone. They are total opposites since one is a major girly girl and the other one is a tomboy. I never ended up finishing it and I don't remember why. 
There was another I wrote at 16 called Family of Trouble. It was about a family of two parents and I think three or four kids who are thieves. This was originally a game I had made up with my siblings one afternoon when we were bored. I don't think I finished this one either. And I remember the title song, the title sequence song was Bad to the Bone. My mom loved that one. Um, one of my best plays was on my book series Every Witch Mom with Academy. And my other best wasn't finished. It was called Clone Chaos and was pretty much about teen clones who kept getting into trouble at school no matter what their teen creator did to stop them. The last play I wrote was around May 2017, two months after my 19th birthday. It had been a while since I had stretched my acting skills and it, and it did not, and I did not like the outcome of this play. It was based on a family of an actual Harry Potter fan fiction I had written with my best friend Alicia. Before then, in the summer of 2016, I had done a priority play of Pray Little Liars and didn't really like the outcome of one scene because I could not act drunk for the life of me. And so I just got discouraged and discontinued it. At one point, I wrote a play about the least liked child in the big family discovering a world and pictures on the walls and their vacation home becoming a hero by rescuing that world. I got this idea from the Wii game Super Mario 64. In that game, you have to jump into pictures and beat bad guys or find special coins, stuff like that. This play never came to light. I had been about 18 when I wrote it. I had also attempted to turn it into a book a year before, which also failed. All right. I hope this wasn't too horrible. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys some other time. Bye.